Hello, this is Dr. J.B. Kettner with Memorial Healthcare Systems. I want to take a few minutes to give you a COVID-19 vaccine update. Now that we have two candidates for vaccines, we're going to start with a picture of, this is an electron micrograph of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which is the virus that causes COVID-19. And what you'll notice on the outside of this are these dark structures which are the spike proteins. And the spike protein is how this virus attaches to your cells and inserts its genetic material and causes a cascade of effects, which ultimately ends up with you getting COVID-19. These spike proteins are gonna become very important as we talk about how the vaccines work. So there are two vaccines. We're gonna talk about the Pfizer vaccine and we're gonna talk about the Moderna vaccine. But let's talk about the effectiveness because these are revolutionary vaccines and which they're highly effective. We're looking at 90 to 95% effectiveness. In the Pfizer study, there were 44,000 volunteers. And as an aside, thank you to all the people who volunteered to be parts of these studies. This is very important work. These are double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled studies, meaning nobody knows the patients, the doctors and nurses, the researchers that are involved. Nobody knows who's getting what until they hit an endpoint or an interim point where they look and see who got sick. And in this case, what you see is that in the placebo group, they when they first looked at this data, there were 162 cases of disease in the placebo group and only eight cases in the vaccine group. When you break this down and look at severe cases, you only have nine cases of severe disease in the placebo group, one in the vaccine group. And yes, we're trying to prevent COVID, but we're really trying to prevent these severe cases because those are the folks that end up in the hospital, end up needing supplemental oxygen, lots of intensive care, and ultimately sometimes mechanical ventilation, and the folks that ultimately end up dying of this. So preventing severe disease is really important. Both of these vaccines are two-shot series. In Pfizer's case, this is three weeks from your first shot to your second shot. Let's take a look at the Moderna vaccine. Again, a very large study, 30,000 people, double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled study, very similar effectiveness, 94% effective. You look at the placebo group, 185 cases, 30 severe cases. Look at what happens in the vaccine group, only 11 cases and no severe cases of COVID. That is really impressive data. We like to see with an annual flu vaccine getting 50, 60, maybe a home run of 70% effectiveness. Looking at 95% effectiveness is really, is really over the top good. So like the Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna vaccine is a two dose series instead of three weeks apart. They chose four weeks apart, works very effectively. A lot has been made about side effects, and I get a lot of questions about side effects of the vaccine. Um, generally, these are one day or less of some combination of fever, headache, injection site soreness. I don't really think of these as side effects. I think of these as proof that your immune system is doing something. So when you have an immune response, you feel a lot of these symptoms. Generally, one day or less, only 4% of folks in the Pfizer study had anything that lasted longer than a day. You have to keep in mind, um, this is an immune response, and with the second dose, sometimes you're going to see a little bit more of that immune response than you do with the first dose. So how do these vaccines work? Uh, because these are unique mechanisms. These are called mRNA vaccines, and mRNA stands for messenger RNA. The uh, virus actually uses messenger RNA to make you sick. And in this uh, illustration, what you see is this is the messenger RNA for the complete virus. And the way it, it does its business is it attaches to your cells with that spike protein. It injects its genetic material and then you hijacks essentially your cell's machinery and it makes copies of the virus. Well, this is a very clever vaccine in that what Moderna and uh, Pfizer BioNTech have done is they took just the RNA to make the spike protein, not the whole virus, and they packaged it in little lipid nanoparticles, which are invisible to your immune system. You get injected with that, it fuses into your cell, and then uses that same process where your cell's own machinery then takes those genetic instructions, that mRNA, and manufactures only the spike protein, not the whole virus. The spike protein does not make you sick. However, 
once those spike proteins have been made, they get presented to your immune system and your immune system makes antibodies and all kinds of memory cells in your immune system, which provide you protection against the virus should you get exposed to SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID. So you are not getting injected with the virus, nor do you make any copies of the virus, but you make a signature of the virus, which your immune system then recognizes if you get exposed to COVID-19 later. It does not, I stress, does not cause infection with the virus. Some unique considerations with both of these vaccines, they have to be stored and transported very cold. Pfizer's vaccine, colder than Moderna's, uh, they can be thawed out and kept for varying degrees when they reach their final destination where you get your uh, vaccination. They're both two-shot series. The immunity we're now realizing does start after the first dose. I initially thought probably most of the immunity would be after the second dose, but it looks like it's relatively equally split. About a week or so after your first vaccination, you're about 50% protected. About a week to 10 days after your second dose, you're about 95% affected. Uh, or protected, which is really amazing. I get this question all the time. Is this vaccine safe? This happened super fast. Yes, it did happen fast, which is nothing short of miraculous, but you have to realize why it happened fast. One, the technology has advanced such that you can make these vaccines really, really quickly, particularly mRNA vaccines. And a lot of the um, the financing and the risk for these companies was taken out of the way. So these could move quickly, but the safety aspects of this did not move any faster than any other vaccine study. So you have to keep that in mind. These are safe vaccines and highly effective, and we should just be thankful that they've happened this quickly. A lot of people read things on social media. There's a lot of misinformation out there. I think you have to think about where you're getting your information from. Um, who is the person putting this information out there? what's their agenda, and ultimately, what's the source of this information. So Google the person or the, the cited source and, and see what they're talking about. Does this person have any expertise in this area? And ultimately, I think where you should get your information is talk to your healthcare provider, talk to your doctor that takes care of you. They know about this. We are all reading about this on a daily basis because things are changing fast here. And ultimately, we have your best interests and your health at the forefront here. So talk to your doctor about this. I get the question of herd immunity, and yes, we want to get to herd immunity, meaning that the virus only can really reside in human beings, and if we're immune either from having the, the infection or having the vaccine, we'll get to herd immunity and the virus doesn't have anywhere to go. But we don't want to get there by having everybody get COVID. That means a lot of sick people, a lot of dead people. We can't open up our economy. We can't go back to anything close to normal. We have to get to herd immunity through immunization. So I got my vaccine. This is a picture of uh, Bonnie Henson giving me my vaccine, and I'm glad that I got it. I look forward to getting my second dose, and I encourage you, when you have the opportunity to get the vaccine, to do that. So thank you for listening. Stay positive, test negative, get the facts, and get the vaccine.